Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how easy it was to get AWS model set up on Bedrock for you to use. This one is just more convenient when you're testing on your local machine with base credentials and a test environment you don't really care much about. You just need to set up Boto3 along with a couple things. I like to use uh, environment variables, so .env, JSON and pandas and OS just for other data processing. You'll load your models here under your AWS access key and secret access key. And so there are two aspects to um, this package. One is Bedrock. Here's how to understand which models you're looking at versus Bedrock Runtime. Here's all the models to use in for inference, for example. So in this case, just prove that you can have the models and this is to retrieve the model information, provide it your region access key ID and secret access key. Remember that you may need to request access to certain models, otherwise you wouldn't get them. There are two different ways to look at this. One of them is to say, okay, let's get information about a particular model. Otherwise, the way to look at it is to say, based upon a list to tell it to list all foundation models it can use, and then pull back and look at the summaries itself. This is things that I like to look at. For example, just to look, to restrict yourself to, you know, can you receive text or perhaps audio or video? and versus what do you output back on the other side and what types do you support. On demand is you get to use it whenever you want. You just need to essentially pay for use versus provision where you actually have to rent that server for a decent amount of time first. Here's a request, here's what Anthropic provides and input and output modality. So you see that it both accepts and outputs text. You can use it on demand and is active for use. And so this is the second part where you list foundation models. I just put that into a data frame for easier presentation. But for example, you can say here is the model ARN to call your ID that you use throughout your name and what it takes in what it outputs and whether you support streaming or not. So for example, this Claude 3 Sonic can take both is by Anthropic. It can take both text and image. It will output text and take a look from there. Other ones, right? So for example, Mistral, large, small, Llama 3B, Llama 370 billion, Llama 38 billion. For note, Llama 38 billion still has problems with their end token. So you may have issues where it doesn't um, correctly terminate the response at the end just talks forever until you run out of context length. So be advised. The other way just to mention is just to run foundation models. Again, super easy. You take your Boto 3, you run your runtime, and so let's pick your region name with your access and secret access key. And then you say, for example, you want to request a prompt. So you put it into a body where you say, here's my prompt. For example, on by requirement, AWS requires for Bedrock that you provide a human and assistant pathway. You query, this is the example they offer you. They say here, this is the number of tokens for output. Here's your temperature. Again, how variable this may be versus your top P for your sampling, here's a model ID. It wants to accept JSON and have JSON concept types. Be advised when you use this, you may either have different response bodies by model. For example, in Anthropic Claude, they offer a completion response where you have to use the completion value to say, here is the result that comes out. On the other hand, you can look at Llama 3, for example. Here again, similar thing. You Here's your prompt. You don't offer tokens to sample. You offer your temperature and your top P. You say you want JSON coming in, and you can also tend to figure out how many output input and output tokens and how long it took to really invoke or get your data back. And then you load with JSON your, your body of your response. Look at the generation, and then you see, okay, this is the generation of text that's there. And you see that that's how it spits data out. So again, far too long tells you, for example, how many prompt tokens, generation tokens, and why did you stop? Because it finished. Well, just wanted to show you how easy that was. Thanks so much for checking this out. If you like this, uh, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below.